أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه من والاه. The topic of the reminder today is about observing Allah سبحانه وتعالى. Observing Allah سبحانه وتعالى when dealing with other people as well as when dealing with ourselves. And this is one of the things سبحان الله that is easy to do in Ramadan because during Ramadan the person feels that he is in a state of worship continuously that's why it becomes easier to keep Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on uh, on your mind so we observe Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala first and foremost because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is observing us Allah is watching us Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran we remember that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is watching and also we remember that one day we'll be standing before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the judgment. The Prophet wasalam, said that each one of you shall stand before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala addressing him without any translator in the middle. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will see everything and then we'll be talking to him directly. For that reason Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَلِمَنْ خَافَ مَقَامَ رَبِّهِ جَنَّتَانِ that anyone that fears the fact maqama rabbihi that Allah is watching him and also maqama rabbihi that he'll be standing before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and uh, there's an interesting actually statement by an early Muslim named Hatim al-Asam uh, he said that when you speak remember that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is hearing you when you do something remember that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is watching you when you stay quiet Remember that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows what's in your heart. Uh, why am I actually quiet for? All of that is known by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. For this reason, mainly we observe Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for what we do. And also we observe Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because we have witnesses. Somebody actually was recording everything that we do. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Qaf, مَا يَلْفِظُ مِنْ قَوْلٍ إِلَّا لَدَيْهِ رَقِيبٌ عَتِيدٌ Every word that the person utters, somebody actually is recording. Somebody is recording and Allah is watching. SubhanAllah, try to imagine the situation actually as it applies to you or any situation where you'll feel, for example, sitting by yourself in a place, uh, nobody's watching. And then suddenly you think that somebody is passing by, you feel probably terrified. But yet we know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is watching and the angels actually are documenting anything. Uh, and also we observe Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because we'll be uh, witnesses for ourselves or against ourselves. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, الْيَوْمَ نَخْتِمُ عَلَىٰ أَفْوَاهِهِمْ وَتُكَلِّمُنَا أَيْدِيهِمْ وَتَشْهَدُ أَرْجُلُهُمْ بِمَا كَانُوا يَكْسِبُونَ That today we will seal their mouths and their hands and their feet will testify. So even ourselves will testify, will be witnesses for or against actually whatever we do. So we observe Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But this observing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala should not be looked at in the context of staying away from the prohibitions. It also includes perfecting actually whatever you do, whatever you do whatever is required actually for you to do, then you perfect it because this is an Islamic value. As in the hadith of Aisha alayhi radwanillah, that the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam said, إِنَّ اللَّهَ يُحِبُّ إِذَا عَمِلَ أَحَدُكُمْ عَمَلًا أَنْ يُتْقِنَهُ That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves it whenever you do something for you to perfect it, to do it in the best way you could. So the person that observes Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if he's a student, he will not cheat. If he's a teacher, he will give his best. He will try his best to pass on whatever he should to his students. If he's an employee, he will actually take care of his business the best way he could. Not for the annual evaluation, but also because it's an Islamic principle. This is something that we are required to do. That's what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says.
وَسَتُرَدُّونَ إِلَىٰ عَالِمِ الْغَيْبِ وَالشَّهَادَةِ فَيُنَبِّئُكُمْ بِمَا كُنْتُمْ تَعْمَلُونَ Say that work, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, His Messenger, and the believers should testify and witness whatever you do. And then you will be, to, and then you will be returned to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Lord of the unseen, and he will tell you of the things that you did. Walhamdulillah rabbil alameen. Wassalamu alaykum wa rahmatullah.